My name is Randall Sash. I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. Uh, I have a special interest in hand surgery, uh, but I also have a particular interest uh, in glass blowing and glass art, and more particularly glass sculpting. I expressed an interest in how you do it. I was quite intrigued by the technique. The Jam Factory mentioned that we might start a beginner's glass uh, class. I went along to a weekend beginner's course and that was the start. I, I got hooked. I started as a hobby interest which became a bit more of a uh, passionate affair and love affair with trying to control the glass. Everyone remembers their first time you handle it. I mean it's quite quite scary, it's also quite physical. Um, the, the glass and the furnaces and when you're gathering out of the pot, it's extremely hot and you're very fearful of how it is and also you don't know how to control uh, the flow of the glass so it tends to be pretty messy uh, first off. Heat was the big thing that everyone remembers about glass. I was quite interested in trying to develop anatomical shapes, anatomical forms, uh, figures, heads, hands, which sort of interfaced to some extent with uh, my daytime job as a plastic surgeon. Not everyone can be a glass artist. You have to learn a lot of skills and they're not intuitive and it's not easy. Uh, the, the further into the glass piece that you're creating you get, tension starts to develop and the more nervous you get uh, that uh, you've come this far and then the next few steps might be critical uh, and it might fail and I've seen world experts at the workshops in front of a crowd of uh, you know 50 odd people creating something and have it break just at the last minute. You can spend four hours on a single piece and at the very last minute when you go to knock it off the punty it can fall on the floor and smash and I've had it happen. Uh, it's very depressing. I've seen uh, people that, uh, that haven't reacted well, uh, that have thrown things around the place and have uh, had little tantrums, yeah, or well, big tantrums too. The last workshop I did, I learnt how to let the glass fall and form itself with gravity, how to differentiate between the heat of the glass on the inside and the heat of the glass on the outside, and when is the right moment to touch the glass so that you shape it the way you want it without leaving marks that you've touched it. I don't think I'm making things that are deep and meaningful and have social statements to make. I'm more interested in making forms and shapes which I find aesthetically pleasing. You kind of evolve your glass art. My forms have become a bit bolder, a bit chunkier, a bit more solid, I think, than the earlier ones, which were a bit delicate. The, the external shape and form is obviously pretty important, uh, but how the colour moves through it uh, is equally as important. There's so many different ways that you can apply the colour and so many different techniques. Uh, it's one of the things which makes glass so fascinating. I like blue a lot. I like red too. Um, red's very bold. The blue, I think, is uh, more subtle. I sometimes like just straight clear glass without any colour in it whatsoever. It's also very attractive. Uh, the way light uh, interreacts with the glass is, is the thing which makes it so lovely. So I try and develop movement if I can into some of the glass pieces because that uh, makes them live a bit more. I'd like to 
I think I'm good at doing the sort of things I'm doing now for a few more years. There are other avenues within glass that I could turn to. I suspect uh, sometime in the future I'm going to set up a, a cold working studio that will enable me to just add another dimension to the glass that I make. I'll just keep chipping away, doing the thing. Thank you.